Hi, this is Russell Stanard from teachertrainingvideos.com. A lot of teachers ask about technologies that allow them, for example, to share a video, but to include some questions within the video that the students can then answer. And uh, then the teacher can look and see the answers that the students have added to the video. And it's actually possible to do that with the technology I'm going to show you now. So this is a really quick uh, example of a technology where you can find the video, add questions, share the link with students and then when they answer those questions you can open up your account and see all their answers. So a uh, technology that I think a lot of teachers are looking to use. Let's have a quick look. I think the best way is to demo an example. What you've got here is a video that I found on YouTube and I've simply used Vizia, that's the technology that we're talking about, to add the questions. Now if I look at it from the student's point of view, when the student plays the video, what will happen is as the video is played, suddenly on the screen a question will appear that the students need to answer. Now the good thing is that it will keep a record of the answers that the put students have put. So the first question comes onto the screen, it says what object was the presenter carrying his arms and the question was a computer, our answer was a computer. Click on continue and I can now carry on through the video. The next question will appear on the screen and again, what does he knock off the table? He knocks off some pens, etc. So what I'm going to show you very quickly is how you can do exactly the same with any video from YouTube. When you sign up for an account, which you will need to do, the teacher does need to have an account. You simply put in your name and your email address and invent a password. You will receive an email which you need to confirm and then you're going to come to this page. Now to find the videos that you've previously created, click here, that's the one that we just watched. If you want to click on new video, click here. I'm going to show you exactly what I just did. So I went to YouTube and I copied the link from this particular video. I then went back to Vizia and simply pasted in the link to the actual URL of that particular video on YouTube. I then clicked on the continue button. And you can see it was fairly quick. Now all I need to do is start playing the video and choose where I want to add uh, the various possibilities of which I've got, which is a quiz, poll, response and call to action. So let's have a quick look uh, at this in action. I'm going to click and just play a little bit of the video. And at a certain point, I'm going to choose to add my first uh, question. And I'm going to put it just about there. So I'm going to stop the video. And at that point, I'm going to add a quiz and I'm just going to ask a question. What did the speaker carry in his hands? Now I'm going to add in a few options. One can be computer, one can be book, one can be his coat, and one can be a TV. So I'm going to save that question. That question will now be added at that point. I'm going to click again on the screen to carry on the video. I'm going to stop it again at that point and add in another question. This time though, I'm going to add a response question. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to say, what did the speaker knock over? So I've now added a second question onto the screen green again I'm going to click on save to save that question we've now got two questions now one thing that's really important we can either do this as a very open way in other words we don't require the email addresses or the names of the students or we may require that they put in their email addresses and their names now I'm going to show you both ways so let's start imagine now that we want the students to watch this video and answer those questions. Now, I know I've only put in two questions, but it's just to demo, demonstrate this as quick as possible. Let's actually see now what happens from the student's point of view. So I'm going to copy that address, and then I'm going to open up another browser and simply paste that link in. So this is exactly what the students will see. And when the video opens up they can click on the screen they'll notice straight away that the two questions are available so if I click here play the video for a few seconds and you'll notice that the question that we wrote together is now going to appear on the screen and there it is and I've got obviously put in the correct answer click on continue and that way 
the students can do the quiz. Now, one thing to notice in this particular case, the students didn't have to log in. And I'm just going to show you what would happen if we'd have insisted on the students logging in. And then we're going to look at the data that is produced because that's also very important. So just coming back here, we're going to change it now. I'm going to click on this button so that it says gate a video. And this way you're asking the uh, users to provide an email and a name. We're going to click on the link now. And I just want to contrast that and show you how that's going to be very different in terms of the experience that the students have. So if I now log in as a student, this time you'll notice that it actually requires me to put in my name and then afterwards, so I'm just going to use another name for the sake of here, and then to add in my email address as well. Once I've done that, I click on continue, and now we're able to actually watch the video and answer the questions. So you've got two different ways of working with this technology. Now coming back onto this screen, an important thing to remember is that you once you've added videos, you can actually see the responses. And if I click here on download CSV file and then open that CSV file, you'll notice that it provides information. First of all, it will give the name of the person, the uh, email address of the person, and then their actual responses to the questions that you've added onto the screen. So really simple. Uh, by just using a, basically a, an Excel file, it provides you with the information to the answers. Now, in this particular case, there was only two questions and you can see the answers there. So just to remind you of that, because it's a very useful if you go to any of your videos and simply click on the video and then click here, it will tell you how many responses and you can click and actually see the responses to that particular question by downloading the uh, CSV file. And here again, I'm doing it for the, the other quiz that I did now. And that, OK, so that just shows you a couple of examples of how we can use this technology. And I really like uh, what I see because it's very quick, very simple to use. I haven't yet tried it out myself, but I will definitely be using it in some of my future teacher training sessions. Hi, this is Russell Stanner from teachertrainingvideos.com. I really hope you found those videos on using Vizia useful. Please come to teachertrainingvideos.com if you want more free videos. You can sign up to a newsletter if you want to keep up with all the webinars and all of the training sessions and all the new videos that I add up onto the website. There are about 25,000 subscribers. If not, you can just click here. A couple of sections that you might find really useful. Number one is uh, Russell's top 12 videos. And if you click here, you're going to see the most popular videos on uh, the website. And all you need to do is just simply click on a video that you're interested in. And then you can watch that video. And don't forget to watch it full screen to really enjoy the experience. Uh, you've also got the Russell's five minute blog. These are just short videos, five minutes long, that highlight key technologies that we can use in our teaching and learning. And also, you might find useful if you're interested in video is YouTube in education. And finally, if you really want to follow what I'm doing, please follow my work on YouTube because I also add up extra videos onto YouTube that you won't find on uh, the website and thank you very much.